All right, we're gonna be starting Ulbricht's next chapter quest. So let me also... I need to figure out who we need in our party. Look at my little guide. We obviously need Ulbrich. Um, let's see, we need Cyrus, apparently, and Tressa. Wait, yeah, because it's me, it's Cyrus, Primrose, Tressa, and we're Primrose. Okay. Victor's Hollow, among the voices discussing the upcoming tournament, you overhear the name Gustav. Ooh. The story so far. Ulbrich has set out on a new journey. His quest of us to find something he had lost, the very reason for which he wielded his blade. To find an answer, he would find his former comrade, Erhard, the man who had betrayed their liege, lord, and king. According to the brigand's leader, Gaston, there is a man in Victor's Hollow who knew Erhard. Mayhap he can tell Ulbrich where Erhard has gone. Gustav is the man's name. They call him the Black Knight. Will Ulbrich find him here, in this town of warriors? I hope so. It's the whole reason we're here. Long time since I've seen such crowds. Welcome, welcome. Hold there, traveler. I trust you know of our arena. Of course I do. Townsfolk here don't ever shut up about it. Anyway, it's why I've come to see it and the grandest story of the year. Right yes. ye are, my friend. Right ye are. Ain't no better time to visit. We got warriors from every corner of the world willing to risk life and limb for the ultimate honor. Only eight champions remain. Now the preliminary battles have been fought. Well, of them, I say there's four you'll be wanting to keep an eye on. The reigning champion is Archibald, the crusher we call him, and four times in a row he's claimed the prize. Joshua hails from the icy wastes of the north. They say his heart is as cold as his blade. Then there's Wallace Wildsword, the man who reached the final battle last year, only to fall to Archibald. And there's one more you should know. Gustav, <laughs> the man they call Black Knight. Did he what? say Gustav? That's yes. right, a newcomer he is, but he's proven his worth. Best in every foe he's faced thus far. There's many who's saying he might be the one to finally topple the Crusher. We got a reigning king, a stranger who's upset his throne, and six more challengers. Each such formidable as the next. You don't want to be missing this tourney, or you'll regret it till your dying day. Are we going to enter the tourney? Tell me something. Ask your question. I'm here to help. Where can I find this Gustav? There's something I must ask him. <gasps> who's that? Find him is easy. Just buy a ticket for the tourney, and he'll be there in all his glory. Oz, we're talking. Well, that's up to him, ain't it? Who's this girl? She obviously stands thank out. You. I see, thank you. So I can find Gustav at the arena, but how do I convince him to talk to me? There's a man who looks like he can swing a sword. He could just be just the one I need. Uh-oh. We're about to get roped into something, eh? So this is the famous Victor's Hollow Arena. You have, you have heard of it? Oh yes, the history say that it was first built as a penal circus where prisoners were made to fight to the death. A cruel practice. Quite, but people eventually wearied of watching men die for sport. And the fights became more humane, less deadly. Forced duels between prisoners were banned. Only free men and volunteers could fight. Now the arena is where men come to test their mettle and win glory for themselves. 
Tell me, Ulbrich, what do you think of this present-day arena? It is honorable. Far better than forcing poor wretches to kill or be killed. It is still a blood sport, but fought between free men who can choose not to, if that is their will. True. That... Okay, we're gonna go this way. That is the defining factor. You choose to do it, so you know what you're getting into. And I think that's okay. Alright, this girl's gonna like... Oi! Oi. Oh! Night. Oh! Hello. Yes. A fighter. Quick with the blade. Ill will in his eyes. State your business. And if it's violence you seek, know that you shall have it. Oh, shit. Looks of him. He knows how to use that blade. Reckon he'd be more than a match for me, even if I were at full strength. <laughs> what do you mean you're not at full strength? Thought you'd agree. My eyes never steered me wrong yet. Whoa. My apologies for the dramatics, but I wanted Ned here to take the measure of you. He'd be fighting in the tourney if it weren't for his wounds. If you have business with me, then state it plain. Cecily, at your service. I'm what you'd call a promoter of sorts. Okay. And what is it you promote? Arena battles, mostly. And the men who fight them. Except Cecily here has done neither yet. Still looking for a big break, she is. Stay your tongue, Ned. I do the talking, remember? You want to meet the man Gustav, yes? Yes. You were there when I spoke to the Barker. That's right. And I'll tell you something he didn't. Tourney fighters don't make a habit of fraternizing with the Hoi Polloi. Hoi Polloi? What is that? If you and he were old friends, that'd be one thing. But... Something tells me he's not expecting your visit. Do you have a point? I have advice. If you want to talk to Gustav, your best play would be to fight in the tourney yourself. Aha! Uh -huh, we are going to fight the tourney. But how? The preliminary rounds are already over, or so I heard. <laughs> See? This is why you need me. I know a way you can get around that. Then tell me. Simply prove that you're a better fighter than one of the remaining champions. And make sure everyone sees it. What? During the tourney, local authorities turn a blind eye to public dueling. It's still against the law, mind you, but no one gets in trouble for it. Lots of men come here fancying themselves good with a blade. And they look to prove it, whether they qualify for the tourney or no. Interesting. But surely... Those who have qualified are above getting involved in petty brawls. They're here to prove themselves, same as everyone. If the circumstances are right, they can no more shirk a challenge outside the arena than in it. I'm telling you, this is your ticket to the tourney. Get the attention of one of the champions and make them challenge you. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Put them in a position where they've no choice but to prove they're your better with a blade. And what do you get out of all of this? When you do get into the tourney, you'll fight under my colors. If you reach the final battle, I'll have fighters lining up to put their seal on a contract with me. Interesting. I'm very curious how this will do. Uh, a deal where we both benefit. I'm very curious how to see how we do this. Like, are we actually going to fight each fighter in the tourney until we get to the finale? Or are we just fighting the one dude to get the attention and then we go through the tourney, quote unquote, without actually going through the tourney as a player? Is there a better kind? I'll get my scribe to draw up the contract. What name will you use? My own. 
Ulberich Eisenberg. Oh shit, his actual name. Eisenberg? The unbending blade of Hornberg himself? That be I. <laughs> A fine figure. And famous, too. <laughs> Told you I could pick him, Ned. Well, my lordship. I think this partnership is going to work out handsomely. Let's hope. Very interesting. Well, now, which of these hot-blooded types would be up for a duel? Let's hear our banter first. Ulbrich. What do you think of the Sicily woman? She appears to have a keen eye for fighters. Why do you ask? It's just that I've seen many a, ma a man fall victim to hard-headed women like her. They are seduced with promises cajoled into submission and eventually led into financial ruin. I am no woman's fool. Just watch yourself, Ulbrich. Don't be taken by glib words or you may regret it later. I appreciate the warning. Still, from what I can tell about Sicily, I honestly think she just loves the arena and the tournaments. I see. <laughs> okay. Let me switch out Cyrus. For who? Who are we switching them out for? Alright, we did Cyrus. We're on Tressa. On it. What? What? <laughs> okay. I think we're probably gonna fight someone, so we might want to change Ulbrich's job. I was thinking Hunter, actually, because he gets axe and bow. Well, if they're not weak to swords, glaive, or or axe, because usually I just give him um, apothecary. Yeah, I think that's the best. The best. Um... Idea. All right. There's this dude, and then there's. This dude. Oh! Mm. You fix him for trouble, old man? Because I got plenty to give the likes of ye. Aye, a fight with this one is sure to raise some eyebrows. Devil take ye, a bit off more you know. Okay, we're just doing it. Okay, what about this dude, though? If you're looking to pick a fight, you've come to the right place. And a fight with this one is sure to raise some eyebrows. We just gotta fight both of them, or just one of them. Sure, we'll fight both if we can. Oh, I didn't. I didn't give him an aplomb. Oh well. Fight with honor. Out well. What are you weak against, buddy? Sword? No. Glaive? Glaive. Okay. We'll stick with Glaive. Victory shall The battle is out of my way. All right, let's do a big move. Probably cross strike, right? All right, dude, let's go. Now then. Oh, he's almost dead. Bye bye. With each battle, I grow stronger. Ulberg is better than any of these fools. Ever fought no one stronger than me? I bet not. Let's take a little resty <laughs> to get his uh, health and SP back. Um, I guess we'll save as well. Did we not get a banter yet? No. 
Alright, let's fight this dude as well. Gotta fight them both, apparently. Let us fight with honor. How about you? Sword? Sword. Too slow. Too slow. Damn, you no, suck. How are you gonna miss twice? You only do 38 damage? Are you using your fist? Is this allowed? Cross strike. Watch my blade. 4k damage, yo, Ulbrick. <laughs> Ulbrick. He said, get me out of here. <laughs> Come now, is that all? Is there none among you who can best my fighter? His name is Ulbrich Eisenberg. One of the twin blades from the once proud realm of Hornburg. Come, don't cower in the crowds, or have you not the courage to face the unbending blade? The unbending blade? Could it truly be? Ulbrich Eisenberg still lives? Whoa, what a- <laughs> Hey! Eisenberg, are you supposed to be famous or something? Are you a daft woman? Everyone's heard of the Unbending Blade. If he's so great, why ain't he fighting the tourney? How long will this take? I fought all comers. You're not quitting on me now, are you? No, but I like it when not- I like it not when my fate is in another's hands. Oh shit, hello. Uh -huh. Cuds me, it's Vic. Victorino? Victorino? Huh? The bounty hound, he who collected coin for the heads of seven ill famed buccaneers? Aha, at last a man who wears his blade like he knows how to use it. Given space, lad, there, that there's attorney champion. Aye, the buccaneer's <laughs> bane, no less. Ten leaves, I got ten leaves on him. Who'll match it? Well, howdy. She's speaking the truth? Are you the unbending blade? When a name reaches me on the high seas, I reckon the man who wears it has done something to earn it. You're the what? one of the tourney champions. Aye, Just Victor so. Reno's the name. I watched you fight the others. And I started wondering myself, could he be better than me? And once that question came, I had no choice but to find myself an answer. Wait, wait, we'll need witnesses, a bigger crowd. The plaza, fight your battle there. <laughs> I'm willing. That's the bigger right. the crowd, the bigger the stakes. I'll see you there, knight. Wow. Well, this has been fun. Have we not been getting... Ow. Oh, maybe this is the next one. I don't want to miss banter, so I'm trying to keep an eye on that. Are we good on health, Ulbrick? Yeah. Alright, we're ready. Shall we get to it, Knight? I'm a man of the sea and never was one for standing on ceremony. Ready when you are. Let's go. Hey! Oh! Oh, you never said we were doing three of us. Or all of us. Bring your shade. Oh, darkness, is it? Ha ha ha. What next? I didn't know we were gonna fight here, I'm just gonna be completely honest. <laughs> My turn now! Well he's not weak to glaive. What about not bow. The battle is truly It's sword. Be completely honest, I didn't realize I and dagger. I didn't realize I was gonna be fighting with my whole team. I thought for sure we were just gonna be doing another one v one. Nighthood, bring your shade. 
what to do. All right, Tressa, what we got? It cannot be Glaive. We tried Bow, I thought, though. It could be, uh... Magic. It's not, but it could have been. No. All right, for all three, let's do level slash. I will cut you down. He's also weak to um. What? Yeah. All right, just him. Yeah. Easy peasy, I feel like. How about you? Oh. Letting my arrow fly in true. I am ready. Oh, it's dagger. <laughs> I was like, surely Let's one of these. <laughs> I'm sure we'll take him out. Maybe. Well, trust has got like so many. Attack a single foe with a bow, otherwise lethal attacks will instead leave the target with one HP. Everything but your life. Nah. She doesn't really have any I mean I guess we'll win. Didn't kill him. Alright, we got this though. I'm ready. See, I don't have a healer. Because I didn't think I would be fighting at this point Victory in time. Shall be mine. Out of my way. Letting my arrow fly in true. Do we have a um... It's my turn now. We'll get him next round. I say we just generically hit him, and then we um, unleash a big attack next round. He's gonna die soon, whether it's from Primrose or not. Perfect. The show is over. We gotta get Tressa leveled up. She's the only one that's not level 30 and above. Yippee! The knight's gone and done it. Wounds, but what about the tourney? We all know the rule, the strongest remains. Wait, does she have the right of it? Twas a steel street brawl, no more. Aye, but street or arena, the strongest remains. That's how it's always been. Well, you suck, dude. That's right. Hear me, I've lost it in a fair and open battle, and this man here stands victorious. Might is right, the strongest remains. My turning place is his. Ooh, thank you. Let's say, tis yours if you'll have it. Of course we will. I will. I You're a man of honor. Hooray! And so did Ulbrich Eisenberg win his place in the Grand Tourney. Before long, rumors of a great night the last remnant of a fallen realm, spread across every alehouse in town. All who claimed to have witnessed the battle, many more than stood in the plaza that day, spoke in awe of the speed and strength of his blade. The tourney is about to begin. Oh no, I'm not ready. I see. Just listen to those <laughs> thirds sing. Maybe they're celebrating your victory, Sir Ulbrick? Uh, mayhap they are. By the way, the Victor Victorino reminds me of the folk back home. He's a real man of the sea, straight talking and honest with no time for hogwash. You know, I've got a feeling he and I would get along. Just thinking about it makes me miss my little port town. Is that so? Uh, yep, yeah, my father said that the ocean is so beautiful it washes people's hearts clean. When you look out at the horizon and realize how huge it is, you can see your troubles for what they are. Then the ocean is a fine thing indeed. You're the same, Sol Ulbrich. You're like a big tree. Steadfast and calm, nothing sways you. You have a great view. Oh! Hmm? A little bird landed right on his shoulder. 
Aww. Alright, well that's Tressa gone. I'm a little worried because... I guess we're going to fight in the tourney for the remainder of this. So we trade out Tressa for who? Ophelia? I'm wondering if we're gonna have a cooldown after each fight. Okay, let me change up what we got going on. That's not what I meant to click. Jobs. I think we'll make her a scholar. She's so cute with the little dress. We give her sword and dagger. I think that's fine. Yeah? Unless we're doing 1v1s, then I would want him to be this. Okay, if it's not 1v1s, then we got our whole team all souped up for it. But if it is 1v1s... Actually, we will give him the thunder as well. Sorry, you're so close to getting your 5,000. Oh, she doesn't have any. Um... I think we're also good with the 1v1 for Ulbrich, or if it's a whole um, group fight, we're also good. I'm not sure how it's gonna be. But we shall see! I should probably guide someone, huh? Just in case. Yeah, come on. Sure. Oh, she has someone. We'll switch it out anyway. Wait, I got your stuff, by the way. Oh. Huh. I have the weapon. I forgot to give it to you. I'm sorry, in the midst of Ulbrich's <laughs> chapter two. This is the Enchanted Blade, Snake's Bane. With it, I can kill the snake beast that holds my father in its thrall. My father condemned violence. He was always a good and just man. But when monsters began to ravage the village where he lived, he was powerless to stop them. His only recourse was the forbidden magic. Excuse me? In my heart, I truly believe he meant no ill, and that, that is why I am set upon his deliverance. I thank Many you for thanks. this blade. I shall use it wisely. I shall find my father and by my own hand free him from this plight. Farewell. Alright, Ashlyn. I'll see you in another town, I'm sure. Alright, let's let's go. I think we're good. What do y'all do? Healing grape. Mm. Alright, let's fight. Now then. Yes, we are ready. Good. As ready as we can be. Good, let's go on in. Let's do it. It's either gonna be a 1v1 or a group fight. Gather round! Another year has passed and the days of days has come again. Each eight champions strong and true have emerged by their metal, character, and fortune. Who shall emer emerge a victorious? Bring it on! Let's do it! The shields are polished and the blades are wetted. It only remains to be seen who shall stand triumph when the rest have fallen. Alright, 
I must say, only, any girls? Step forward, brave warriors. He has been he has been grand champion for four tournaments in a row. He is the reigning king, but will he meet his king slayer today? Behold, Ar Archibald the Crusher, mightiest of the mighty. Oh, he's gonna name them all off. Archibald, have at him! Show that black knight how it's done. They say the blood of men turns to ice in the frozen waste of the north. Just a tale, mayhap. But let no man deny that the steel of this man's blade is as biting as the ice in his eyes. Joshua, Joshua Frostblade. <laughs> Such a generic name. Sir Joshua. Take my favor, sir, I beseech you. Our next spider spent years learning the art of war and mastering pikes, halberds, spears, and all things long and pointy. Misjudge his peasant's weapon at your peril, last man. What did found himself skewered before he could eat so much as lift his fancy blade in the shortest fight of the tourney. Comrade. His lance dances and spits you like the pig like a pig, for it's Conrad the Impaler. Stick, stick it to him, Conrad! <laughs> Archie's bold sword ain't the half of your pike. He's been second to only one man, always the last man bested. But this year will be his last. He's been second to only one man, always the last man bested. But this year will it be his opponent who bends his knee on the final day? Many here are say I, for this year he will be at last usurp the king. His sword strikes with the ferocity of a savage beast. Wallace! The Wallace Wild Sword is here to claim the king's crown. Hi. Cryvan, that's no man. He was born from a bear, I say. Is he hairy? And a fame then. and renown. This fi next fighter cares little, but how many a fighter pales at the mention of his name? A hunter amongst hunters in the preliminary matches he bagged every monster that appeared. Bernhard. Be it fiend or man, he never loses his quarry, for he is Ber Bernhard the Beast Hunter. Every beast that was released into the arena, then he's the equal of the king. Next is an impregnable fortress of a man. Neither axe nor sword has ever sundered his shield. He is an immovable force. He can no more be toppled than a mountain. If the battle goes to the last man standing, how can he not emerge victorious? He is Greg? Greg? The Unbreakable. God's a mercy! Look at the size of him! He prize Bold look like a rabbit next to him. Next is a mysterious ni mystery knight, a dark horse, one might say, who has swatted away all challengers with contemptuous, with contemptuous ease. The arena has not seen the likes of his swordplay in many a year. Could this man be our new champion? Gustav. Gustav, the Black Knight. Whoa. Whoa. Hurrah, hurrah. Cut him down where they stand, Gustav. You're the only one who can defeat the king. Last but let us not say least, for this last minute entrant defeated none other than the Vic Victorino the Buccaneers of Bane. Does he deserve to be here or does he not? You'll all have your say. But hear this, the rule of the tourney is writ, is writ clear. Might makes right and let no man disavow what another claims by feet of arms. So raise a cheer for Ulbrich, the unbending blade. The unbending blade? I've heard the tales, but... Show us the might of proud Hornburg! Let's go. Here stand your eight champions. Now only the duel remain. Who are we fighting? Oh. Greetings. Oh shit, he, he approached us. So you're Ulbrich, are you? Yes, and if I you know see. who I am, then you also know that... You'd be looking for <laughs> Sir Earhart, eh? I see, I don't need so to explain. Sir Earhart spoke enough of you, but what you're seeking has a cost. Tell me, knight, you know what this place is? A place I where see. a man's worth is measured? Hmm. Tell me, Sir Ulbrich, to what end do you swing that blade? Oh shit, I was... I was once a knight of the realm that wielded my sword for king and country. But as for now, to tell the truth, I cannot say. 
I'll see you so, in the fi in the final. Oh shit. <sighs> we have to win against him. What do you fight for, Ulberic? Oh. We got banter. <sighs> Is something troubling you? I am dwelling upon a happening from the past, an unhappy memory. Thou couldn't say that. Master once wagered a great sum at the arena and lost it all. He had received payment for a hunt, but was left destitute and unable to return it home. That was not very masterly of him. Indeed! To pay it off his death, we were, we were enforced to share in our earnings for many months after and oft went hungry. Visiting this arena half brought back the memory of that bitter time. I am sorry to hear it. Forgiven me, I did not meet will to burden thee with my woes. Now, nor shall I let them hinder our mission here. Hmm. All right, we've done with. We gotta go trade out. Haunt it. <laughs> we gotta go trade out haunt it for Alfin, apparently. We gotta run all the way across Victor's Hall. <laughs> Like, literally all the way across town. Okay, wait, I might want to take her job off because I thought we were going to fight. little Tressa. We gotta get her level up sometime. Savey and then continue on. I don't know if he's gonna do like a 1v1 or if we're gonna do like a a group battle. Oh, we can inquire about her. The coin counter. Never heard of no bloody coin counter, but a glance will say most anything will do. Sword Sagger Staff, so you could try setting her on fire. Can we steal off of you? Shit, I don't I don't wanna run back. Yeah, we're ready. We are ready. Are you ready? Yes, and now for the fourth battle from the West Gates comes Ulbrek. Good luck to you, Knight, you'll need it. You'll be fine, just do exactly what you did to the others. I'll hmm. be back soon. So this is like the first round. Oh, we're fighting Joshua? Ulrich, you're twice the man he is. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sir. The name is Joshua. Your name and renown reach even the distant corners of my snowbound home. Ulrich Eisenberg and the honor is mine. The, cli the, cli the climes in your land may be harsh, but its sons have warm manners. You honor me, sir, but know that there is no warmth in my sword, and it will deliver the victory I promised to my dearest Angela. Angela. So you fight for a woman. I fight yes. for love, and today you will know how powerful that is. Begin. First round, fourth duel. Let the battle begin. Or is this our fourth time in the tourney? I will not fail. We're fighting with the team. I am ready. What? Why does he have one that's blocked off? I wonder if he's weak to fire. Flames, burn this away. It is. It's fire. It's fire. Victory um, shall be mine. I bet the music is amazing in this scene, but since you know, I don't want. I want to avoid copyright. I will cut you down. No sword. Gotcha. Gotcha. Here goes nothing. Hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, so we need to axe. Ooh. Well then. What do you got, girl? You could do light. May the sacred flame shine forth. He's weak to light. Gotcha, gotcha. about darkness for these two. No? Damn. My turn now. Whoa, are they weak to no. anything? Here goes nothing. Oh, we already tried axe, I'm dumb. Bring it on. I am ready. Um, I guess we'll do fire again. Why not? Flames, burn this away. No. Didn't we already try glaive on this on these dudes? Yeah. Oof. My turn now. Maybe we'll do some healing. Bring about the miracle of healing. I am ready. Watch me now. Oh. We just straight up killed those guys. Okay, that's fine. Axe. Right. Bow? No. I will not be defeated. Staff? Interesting. Victory shall be mine. Whoa. Whoa, wait, wait. It's just axe. I'm not failing you, my love. So what does that mean? Bring it on. I'm ready. Fire. Victory shall be out of my way. My turn now. All right, we're about to go ham. Let's get down to work. On my next turn, if he's still fucking alive, we're gonna do poison without them. Flames, burn this away. Bro, he is surviving. No, my blade is unbending. Watch my blade dance. He gets two turns. Okay. Well then. Oh, sacred light. The battle is I am ready. Um fire. <laughs> Maybe we won't Bring do poison. Maybe we'll just knock him out. Why didn't I do both fireballs? I'm dumb. Oh well. I'm sure. I'm confident we'll knock him out. Yeah, there we go. Yes. Olberich. Each battle, I grow stronger. Ugh, Angela, forgive me. You fought well and bravely. You did no dishonor to your lady love. To fight for love of a cherished one. Did we miss a banter? Let's see. Alfin, right? No, Ophelia. Onward to the final showdown. We have to do like one more fight, right? Or two more? I just wanted to go heal, but maybe that's not needed. I think I'm just wasting my time. 
Oh, that happens often. Actually, we save and keep going. What is it? Mm -hmm. Your next appointment is none other than Archibald the Crusher, the long reign king of the tourney. He's as strong and skilled as any, that's for sure, but it's iron will that wins him battles more than anything. I'll tell you to look out for this or that, but the gods only know with him you got to look out for everything. Jeez, Ned can be overly nice. dramatic, but he speaks the truth. Archibald's a more formidable foe by far than you any you face till now. Formidably noted. God, oi, see oi. if you got more spine than sense, cracking japes at a time like this? This won't be the first I fought a man whose skills matched or suppressed my own. And I dare say it won't be the last. And now for the second match ready? of the second round from the West Gate, Ulbrich Eisenberg. Whatever happens, just give it everything you got. We'll find out soon enough if that will, that'll suffice. Oh, it will. We'll win. We have to go fight, um... I see. Gustav. I. Are we fighting in teams again? The unbending blade in the flesh, eh? Step up from the usual riffraff they throw my my way. My father was one match away from winning his fifth turn in a row when his challenger sword found his breast. Now it's my turn to do what he could not. Did he die? And that's why you fight? To honor your father's memory? Aye, now let's get on with it. So be what? it. Let the battle begin. On your guard. Ooh, they both said it. All right, group fight. Got two things that are already, sir. We just started. I will cut you down. No one's weak to sword. I am ready. Flames burn this away. All right, they're weak to fire at least. Whatever that dude's got planned, he's probably gonna get it off. Seems like I'm picking up everything besides what this dude's weak against. Bro, he's not weak to anything I'm throwing at them. Uh, okay. Whatever. Victory shall be mine. All right, let's see. After axe, is bow or or staff? Well, it's staff then. I'm ready. The fuck? All right, we gotta figure out things for this dude over here. It's not axe. Is it bow? Bow is one of them. What if it's dagger? All right, so we knocked out his friends. I am ready. Can you be weak to Blizzard? Be and go. He is weak to Blizzard. How about you? We should probably heal with Ophelia. All right. He has right. bow. It's not axe. It could be glaive. It's not, of course. We're gonna heal with a few. That's not healing. We'll do one heal. Bring about a miracle of healing. Here we go. How it's not you? sword either. It could be dagger. We're just gonna do this. Out of my way. I am ready. It's dagger. I'll not be defeated. Yeah. All right. Could not tell you the magic he's weak against. Is it darkness? It could be lightning. <laughs> Ayo? That hurt. <laughs> that hurt, dude. Thunder. 
thunder. Okay, it's not thunder. It ain't thunder, guys. Well then. Bring about the miracle of healing. I could have healed with Alfin too. I realized. Bring it on. Well, we know it's not light, because she used the three light on him already. I think we got this in the bag. Easy peasy. I wonder if it's darkness. It's darkness! Alright, Alfin. Let's do some crazy stuff. Good enough. Uh oh. I am ready. Well then. Bring it on. Oh, he's definitely gonna get knocked no. out by them. Here we go. Victory shall be proud. Yeah, you don't get to do your special move. Ready. The girls got daggers and the boys got bows. Get him! Oh, he's so close to death, I'm sure. Framos is gonna take him out. Yes. Yes, we won. The show is over. So close to leveling up too. What? Are my eyes to be believed? The king has been dethroned. Victory goes to Ulbrich Eisenberg. Like father, like son, I have failed him. Rejoice, fool. You won the battle. Don't you fret for me. I'll just start another winning streak. As long as I have breath in my lungs and strength in my arm, I'll keep swinging this blade. You fought to honor the memory of a man long dead, but is that enough for the likes of me? Whoa. Archibald yields! For the first time in four years, the king will not fight in the final battle. The Black Knight versus the Unbending Blade. Whatever befalls, there shall be a new knight or new king at the tourney's end. Yo! Oh, we got banter. Is it from Ophelia? Why do I fight? What's the matter, Ulbrich? You look deep in thought. Indeed, I am. I realize that every man who takes up arms has a reason to do so. I try not to dwell on the many men who have fallen to my blade. But now I find myself asking, why do I fight? Why do I wield this sword? I can't pretend to know much about swords and soldiers. But I have noticed one thing. You're different from other fighting men I have known. There's a kindness in you. I sense tenderness and mercy to those whom you're forced to vanquish. Whatever your reason turns out to be, I'm glad you fight alongside us. I had never thought of myself in that way. Thanks to you, you thanks be to you, Ophelia, you were to give me strength. Oh, it's my pleasure. That's cute. Okay, but you're telling me I won't have Ophelia for the last fight. So we're gonna have to, um switch her out and probably take up the cleric for Primrose and give someone else the sorcerer the scholar job oh wait before I do that though Ophelia, we will take Therion. Hmm. I guess we'll give him the sorcerer. Have we already gave him the sorcerer class before? I don't think we have. Oh no, we have, we have. He just won't be able to do the double. Which I guess will have to be okay. Alright, 
All right, let's make sure he has the proper equipment like me. Do y'all have the proper stuff? Oh my god, no you don't. Oh my gosh, okay, we're fine. Let's go. Are we all healed up? Good enough. <laughs> Good enough. Lots of back and forth in this chapter. It's not like we had to go through like a dungeon to get somewhere. This is a little different than our normal. Which is fine. It's good to like um, switch it up every now and then. Alright, let's take a little savey and then we'll talk to Cecily. Can we? We can't steal from her. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. You come this far, now you simply have to win. Second place is out of the question. I ain't ever seen the girl this agitated bef before. You're, you've lit a fire under her, that's for certain. Why shouldn't I be agitated? He beat the reigning chant king, the one they said was all but invincible. By the gods, the devil can take me if this black knight thinks he's the match for our kingslayer. Bro. We gotta beat him, though. What? Is something the matter? Do you know something about this Black Knight? I don't. Whatever this Black Knight may be, judging by his previous fights, he stands the equal of any king. No man should enter a battle expecting the easy victory. Least of all against one who was trained in the sword by Earhart. Yet neither should any man shy from battle for fear of defeat. I shall fight with all my strength, and if the gods will that is not enough, then so be it. Agreed? Right, I know how it works, but just make sure you use all your strength. I wouldn't want anything... <laughs> your cheeks are turning red, girl. Damn. Oh, shit. Yowch, watch it now, the wound's still healing. And from the Coming Westgate, up. Ulbrich Eisenberg. That's my cue. She got a little flustered over Ulbrich, and why wouldn't you? I bet he's a real beefcake. You kept up your end of the bargain, I'm impressed. And I am impressed as well, you won hard battles against capable foes. <laughs> Once you mentioned Sir Earhart, I didn't have much of a choice now, did I? Lest I dishonor his name as my teacher. He told me a lot about you back when we were both serving in that mercenary band. Oh shit. You still lost, still wondering what that unbending blade of yours is for. Bro, Joshua fought for love. Archibald for the memory of his father and the honor of his line. I once fought to protect someone, but I failed and that person is no more. Yes, mayhap I am lost, but not today. Today I fight for victory. I see you found yourself an answer. Let's see how well it serves you in battle. Then two arms. Let the final begin. duel begin. Oh shit, here we go. I will not fail. He's a big one. All his shit is blocked. Okay. Alright, we got this. No, no problem. Easy peasy. Not a problem. That's my way. We'll probably do fire first. Go down the list. Oh, he's leads to fire. Nice, nice, nice. I'm ready. We'll do darkness. Um, wind. Alright, so it's probably... Well, it's not a dagger, I can tell you that much. Here goes nothing. Bro. <laughs> Aha, they are weak to ice, so they're weak to one more I'm thing. Ready. Surely it's not it is staff. It is frickin' staff. Why would it be staff? We gotta heal as Ophi or <laughs> as Primrose. I'm ready. Bring 
about the miracle of healing. Keep that healing up. All right, now that we know what the lower guys are weak against. Well, there we have to sword too. Let's do that. Victory shall be mine. Out of my way. He doesn't Here have sword, nothing. but we do have wind or ice. <laughs> All right, let's focus on these dudes. Whoa! He gets to go twice. Nighthood, bring your shade. He's going twice around. How is that fair? I kind of just want to hit them. Goodbye, probably. No, damn. They're really hard to kill. Dealing damage inversely proportional to your current HP. Let's just try to pick out one. There we go. Oh, he lets guard down. Okay. That's okay. Don't don't hit Therion. I'll heal him. Don't worry. I'm ready. Bring about a miracle. I need Therion to do analyze. Please tell me I, I have him have a your analyze on. Please, please. I do. Let's see. Glaive. Yo. All right. Okay, if it's glaive, it can be dagger, axe. It's probably bow. The battle is truly joined. Oh no, it's axe. Out of my way. Dagger? It's dagger. Yikes. My night ode. Night ode, bring your shade. Yikes! It's not dagger. Victory shall be mine. Not about to tell me it's axe when I had fucking Alfin do his axe attack on everyone. There's no way. Here goes nothing. How is it fucking axe? Did I use an axe attack nothing. on everyone? I think I used this on the first round. Am I wrong? Down to work. How about you? I am ready. <laughs> He's about to go twice, and maybe that's not good for me. Uh, yikes. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, he hit him. Victory shall be mine. And snare them. I was trying to hope for like at least one more round Victory so we can um, use as much boost mm. points as we can. Bring about a miracle of healing. <sighs> I see the defenses. Doing a little setting up. Here trying to be go. a little smart about this. Take your poison. Alright, here we go. Let's get down to work. Cause he's not even half health. Watch my blade. 4K, is he still not half health? <laughs> he's still not half health? Yo! How much health do you got, my dude? I'm ready. Are you? Fine. Ugh. My dude's still not half elf. Oh, what'd you do to him? Yo, leave Farion alone. What did he do? What has he done to you? Try to wait until next round to knock him down. No, leave him alone. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Pick your poison. Oh, I thought Alfin got the same stuff. I was like, wait a second. I'm gonna have to heal. I am ready. Bring about a miracle of healing. <laughs> I see the defenses. Say one more round. Poison the bitch. Pick your poison. Victory show. <laughs> How much is his cross strike? Twelve. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, this is the one. Get one more round of people just doing stuff. I see. He's half health. That's good. I am ready. What is this going to do? Ooh. Okay. Here we go. I say that was worth it. Take your poison. All right, here we go. Four K damage, yo. Out of my way. 8k damage! Are you crazy? Okay, okay. Very on a little lacking. 4k damage and he's still not dead! Yo! What if he dies to the poison? That would be funny. Straight up dies to the poison. Here goes. Well, let's get him back down. Unfortunately. Don't. 
I'm ready. Gossipy townsperson, why not? <laughs> the battle is truly <laughs> I'm ready. Bring about a miracle of healing. At least keep everyone topped off. Especially since this dude actually hurts this person. I see the defenses. No. Oh, we killed him! Nice, Ulbrich. I'm glad Ulbrich was the one that did that. The thrill of the fight. Ooh, three levels up. Wow, Primrose is level 40. That's crazy. Gustav's shield. Damn it. Curse my blade, but the victory is yours. We have a winner! He yields, he yields! All hail the unbending blade! A new king of the arena is crowned. Three, three cheers for Ulbrich Eisenberg. Did you see that, lads? The Black Knight fought Brody, but the unbending blade has won the day. He won? Did you see that, Ned? He won! Of course I did. I saw every blow land and my own wounds ache just watching. Well played. A good fight. Aye, it was that. No shame in losing to the likes of you. On another day, you could have been the victor. Aye, mayhap, but today's your day and I'll keep my word. When you're ready, come by my room at the end and I'll tell you what I know. I will see you anon. The bards will sing of this duel for years to come. All hail the new king. I won, but I'm no closer to understanding why I wield my blade. You got to banter. By the gods, old brick, you're invincible and you're enough to be the same. Nay, I am just a man who carries a sword and has learned how to use it. Today I was uh, better than my opponent, no more, no less. If you say so, hey -oh? What is it? You picked up an injury there, my friend. You can't hide it from me. If you don't treat cuts, they get, can get the rot and then you'll be in trouble. So stop pretending it's nothing and let me fix it for you. It's my job, after all. Thank you, I shall repay you. Ah, oh, shucks, you don't need to do that. Aww, that was cute. All right, now what? We gotta go talk to the dude. Let's see what he knows about Airheart. You can actually go in these buildings. Uh, Hello. Welcome. Make yourself comfortable. All right. A deal's a deal. You want to find Airheart, and I'll honor my side of the bargain. But let's take it slow. There's much we have to talk about, you and I. If you say so. But what about? Sir Earhart, of course. And what I know of him. I'm listening. Now where to begin? Is this really a long conversation? Tell me, Sir Ulbrich. Are you familiar with the land from which Sir Earhart hailed? Some border town in the far reaches of Hornburg. Or so he once told me. Aye. A peaceful village called Grind. At least it was till it was raised in the war. <sighs> it was long before Lord Earhart became a knight that he lost his home. After that, he joined a band of swords for a spell. It was there he got an idea in his head. And so, he finally came to serve Hornburg and the Crown. As a spy. Oh, 
preposterous. You mean to tell me that Earhart meant to betray us all along? Wow, he played the long game for sure if that was the case. His eyes always burned with fire when he told the tale. The King of Hornburg turned his back on us, he'd said, and sat on his ass as our homes burned. Nonsense. King Alfred cared for all his subjects. He would never... Lord Earhart claimed otherwise. Either way, he was a man on a mission. <laughs> if that's true... That means he'd been plotting the downfall of Hornburg for years. Revenge is made all the sweeter by the passage of time. How sweet it must have been for him when Hornburg fell at last. I don't pretend to admire his deeds, nor claim they are honorable. But then... I've never known the pain and anguish Sir Earhart was forced to bear. Though I wonder sometimes how it made him feel to see justice done, if winning his revenge put his heart at ease. I never asked him, and he never told me. But of all the men in this world, mayhap he'd tell you. You look up to the man, don't you? He taught me to be a true warrior, and I dare say he was a friend as well. I know of little else but the ways of battle. Whatever his sins might have been, I was proud to call him a brother. As was I. Thank you. Happy to have the company and a willing ear. You'll find Sir Earhart in the desert town of Wellspring. Oh, shit. When you do, well, I trust you'll do what's right. Even if that means I slay him? Your friend, your mentor, your brother. If that is what you believe he deserves, I reckon he'll accept his fate. And so will I. Whatever the cause he fought for, it does not excuse his deeds. He slew the king he had taken a sworn oath to protect. I will listen to what he has to say. That much I can promise you, but no more. That's crazy. Does Gustav have the right of it? Did Earhart wield his sword for the sake of revenge? From what he said, it seemed like that was what he had to, be, to plan to begin with. If so, does he still wield it, even though the thirst for vengeance has been sated? Could it be that we are the same? Has Earhart, too, lost his purpose? Okay, but he did a bad thing. Supposedly. Ayo, hey, Therion. An old friend, eh? Earhart, eh? I called him a friend once upon a time. But ended the day he struck down our king. And you still want to see him again? I would speak to him. There is something I need to know. And you think meeting him will give you closure? What happens if you don't like the answer you get? Are you sure you're not doing this for your own self satisfaction? Perhaps you're alright. But I must see him if I am to put the past behind me. I won't stop. I won't try and stop you. In fact, I think I'll stick around and see how this one unfolds. Be my guess. All right. Well, that is. No, we still have to go to the exit. Cecily. Hey, where are you running off to? What does it matter? The tourney is over. Our bargain is concluded. It is, but that doesn't mean we can't bid each other Godspeed. Phew, got you in the nick of time. We won't let you go sneaking away without so much as a fare thee well. <laughs> got friends, Ulbrick. Of course. Pray forgive my manners. 
I could not have gotten this far without you. Both of you. You have my thanks. And you have ours. So, if I can be so bold, where are you off to next? The Sunlands. A town called Wellspring. To finish what I started here. And then? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps I'll return ho oh. to the village I came from before here. Oh, home? He almost said home? Albrecht. Oh, well, if you've already got a place to call home, then maybe this means nothing. <laughs> but if you're looking for a new line of work, you could do worse than being a full-time champion. <laughs> the offer is welcome, but it's not the life for me. Thought you might say that, but I had to ask, huh? If you ever have a change of heart, just drop on by. Or even if you don't, you'll always be welcome here. Aww. Thank you, friend. I may do just that. In the meantime, take care of those wounds. Don't you worry about me. I'll be fighting fit soon enough, and ready to give a good show at it next year's tourney. Good luck. A good showing? Now there's an inspiring goal. If you want to stick around in my stable, I'll see you claim the throne. Oi, oi! One step at a time, me lady. I ain't the unbending blade of Hornberg after all. <laughs> <laughs> a title and a crest do not a swordsman make. Aye, true enough. Maybe I will go and win it all. <laughs> See what the betters will say about that. Tell you what, if they crown Ned King, you come back and we'll put on a duel the likes of which the city's never seen. <laughs> okay, Ned. I'd like that very much. But today, the road calls. Till our paths cross again, my friends. All right. And so did Ulbrich leave Victor's Hollow behind him with new knowledge of Earhart's past and present. Now Ulbrich must find Earhart and go God's willing the truth, even if it means crossing blades with his est erstwhile friend. And so to the Sunlands and the desert oasis of Wellspring, Ulbrich's journey continues. I'm liking it. His chapter was unique in the way that we didn't have to go through a dungeon and, uh, you know, fight our way through and then fight the boss at the end, so that was neat. But we're gonna save and make our way to whosoever chapter 3 will be next. <laughs>